Hey everyone, Brian Zane here. I am back to open the mailbag once again. And folks, you did not disappoint. And this shot does not do it justice to how much stuff I got this month. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. And look, there's more packages out of the shot here, like down here. I am blown away by everyone's generosity. And I cannot wait to open all these. I want to say I'm a fan of Wrestling With Regret. You are the angry video game nerd of pro wrestling. That's true. Is there any non-wrestling TV shows, movies, or video games you enjoy? My favorite TV show right now is Bob's Burgers. My wife and I have been watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. Very riveting miniseries, and uh, I, I've learned so much about chess. My favorite non-wrestling video games have been like Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker and Final Fantasy X. I'm actually playing that on the PS4 right now, and it's bringing back a lot of memories for Blitzball and things like that. Question three, have you checked out WWE Comics from Boom Studios or Chaos Comics? When I was younger, I actually had the first couple issues of The Undertaker comics. Comics. I think that was chaos and I actually have the original Valiant comics from the World Wrestling Federation way before that with guys like the Warrior and Ted DiBiase on that stuff. Not much of a comic book guy like I, I collected comic books for a little while when I was like in fifth and sixth grade but I had kind of a falling out. You want to know what actually got me into comic books around that time was issue one of Generation X with like the foil cover and everything. I was so blown away. I have to have this. All right this one appears to be written by somebody a bit on the younger side. Uh, it's kind of hard to make out what they're writing here but I'll do my best. Do you tack to add you, Toby you is cool, go to WWE.com. The last sentence was the only one I could understand. Go to WWE.com, a plug for the website. But thank you very much, Daryl, I appreciate it. Ooh, this one feels a bit thick. It comes from uh, England, I think, uh, by Air Mail. Royal Mail, Royal Mail. Oh, there's some cards in here. Here we go, this is, uh, what is this? Slam Attacks, trading card game. Slam Attacks Live, oh, there's a live version of the game now. Got some Alundra Blaze, the US Championship, Seamus, Edge. Ooh, this got, ooh, a holographic one, I like this. The Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Michaels. I love your content and your reviews. You were the first wrestling YouTuber I watched and I've been a fan ever since. My favorite video of yours has to be the Insane Clown Posse. Please accept these WWE trading cards as a token of my gratitude. Funny story about the Insane Clown Posse. Turns out they're they're quite the fans of mine. I'm really blown away by that as someone who grew up like you know, in high school listening to their stuff. It's really flattering to hear that. And if JCW starts running shows again, I've been told there's a spot waiting for me. So keep your eye open for that. Oh, what? is the oh the, the shock master issue two it's like a little magazine oh look at this this is pretty cool it's got artwork in here it's got some interviews some wrestling photos this is pretty cool like it's it's really nice to see some physical media in the wrestling world and it's kind of harkens back to you know the good old days when you didn't have you know the internet and stuff like that this is a neat little thing so go check out the Shockmaster. one of my favorite pay-per-view reviews you did is one night stand 2005 but there was an ecw reunion show the night before called hardcore homecoming and it's on dvd i'm very aware of hardcore homecoming and i know that was the reason terry funk didn't work one night stand 05 was because it was too close to Hardcore Homecoming, it couldn't do more than one show in a weekend. I do want to review that one because I think it was the existence of Hardcore Homecoming that really made WWE really want to make a good ECW revival show. It's like that 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 whiff of competition was like, nope, we gotta just knock it out of the park with this one. Okay, now we move on to the packages. You're ribbing me with this one, pal. A pirate Paul Burchill action figure. Oh man, uh, it looks like him though. I will say I was really a big fan of Jack Pacific uh, action figures near the end of their run before Mattel took over. Got uh, a Kevin Nash sticker. This is a genuine article from WCW from 1998. Demolition from WrestleMania 5. And then we've got a Michael Cole trading card. Your channel has always been one of my favorites and me and my grandma watch together all the time. Stay cool. Well, thank you very much and say hi to your grandma for me. I'm glad that my content can, you know, uh, entertain people of all ages. All right, there's a few trading cards in here, uh, WCW style. This is really cool. He also sent a whole bunch of autographed 8x10s. There's this, uh, this drawing of uh, Quake and Typhoon, the natural disasters, and Typhoon signed it. Signed, uh, just Big Stevie Cool, the BWO, Blue Mini, and Nova were not ready, were not available for comment on this one. Tito Santana, the star of the American Wrestling Federation. I've got quite a growing collection of 8x10s in my office here, and so this is gonna be a nice addition to that. Thank you very much. There's no, there's no name on it, so I have no idea who to attribute this to or to who to send it back to. 
Uh, but whoever you are, a uh, mystery benefactor, my hat, my ha I tip my hat to you. Hey Brian, now the beard is gone, RIP, I thought you might enjoy some shaving soaps. Threw in some of my favorites. Just take some and press it into the bottom of a bowl. Oh man, look, oh, look at this brush. This little uh, rainbow colored brush here. Look at all these little soaps with words I can't pronounce. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Alex. This is a nice gift from Columbus, Ohio the home of Frankie Williams, who Roddy Piper beat up in the first ever Piper's Pit. Fun little trivia there. My friend Chad Webb and I have recently started our own podcast slash web series called The Nitty Gritty. We talk about more offbeat wrestling topics and in a shorter format than a lot of other wrestling podcasts. It's included talking about referees, our stories from going to live shows, and spotlights on more obscure wrestlers like Big Bully Busick, PN News and Ranger Ross. That one I've never heard of. The other first, the first two I have though. We would not only appreciate a plug, but your opinion on the show, any advice, again, we're just getting started. And he's also included a partial set of 91 WCW trading cards, which are in great shape. All right, cool. I got an album. I got a little EP here from a fan. The Migraine Aura, debut EP featuring the single Your House and No Friends. If there's ever wrestling again, come up to a Defy show in Seattle. I would love to go to Defy in Seattle. I was lucky enough to actually go to a couple of the shows they did in Portland last year. Had a great time there. I got to reconnect with some of my old wrestling friends from the Northwest, and I cannot wait for yeah, wrestling to come back so Defy can run again. Everyone can run again. But from a personal standpoint, I would love to see Defy. I'd love to go up to Seattle one of these times and go check them out in their home base as well. Oh, look at this. This appears to be the June 98 issue of WWF Magazine, which has Steve Austin as the Stone Cold Champion. A lot of great articles in this magazine, but I'm particularly fond of the pin them down Q&A section in the back. Dear Cactus Jack, do you ever want to get a manager? You see, Russell, I am a man of self Alliance. When I fought Terry Funk in an explosives match in Japan and nearly blew my arm off, I managed to get up just fine. <laughs> yes. All right. Hang on. First, I got to show what I got here. First off, I got the Blu-ray of the Al Snow movie Overtime. Funny story. I have the DVD of that same movie right there on my bookshelf. I'm hoping to review one day. And Big Apple Takedown, which is a fictionalized story about WWE wrestlers as a covert black ops group that are funded by the government and there's a big uh, terrorist thing they gotta take down in the Big Apple. Last November, I stumbled across your review of Survivor Series 98 and started watching some of the other videos you've uploaded, which like so many others rekindled my interest in WWE. I have my own YouTube channel where I talk about movies. I've been updating at least once a week for a little over a year now. If you're interested in checking any of my stuff, it's under my name. Well, I'll put the plug for that right here. Go to Martin Prevost on YouTube to find the movies he reviews. This thing has either gotta be a can of dip or a yo-yo? Oh shit, son! I called it. It's a yo-yo. It's just not a. It's not a wrestling yo-yo. It's like it's a. It's a yo-yo for beacon health options. So thank you very much. Now I know where to go for my health options. It's beacon. Oh cool, a nice little uh, pin, lapel pin it has wrestling on it. It's like the traditional like amateur wrestling, not the, not the stuff I watch. Some more WCW cards, including Big Bubba. Flying Brian and a cage match with Flair and Hogan. I know it's not much, but keep up the amazing work you do and never forget. Never forget what? Ooh, this one's got some heft to it. This feels like many pieces of physical media. Let's figure out what's in here. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to this, baby. All right, here we go. Oh man, you okay, you're knocking it out of the park today, pal. To show my appreciation, I've sent a few things, some of which you may actually enjoy. I like that little caveat. You might like the things I've actually sent you. A cassette of the Hulk Rules album, which is awesome, thank you very much. A copy of Wrestling Gold on DVD. Uh, I've seen this before online, I've seen it advertised, but I've never actually seen it before. A copy of Vince Russo's autobiography, Forgiven, which I have not read yet, but I want to. And finally, this opened uh, without a case VHS from Coliseum Video of WWF Wrestling's fan favorite matches. The sticker says, be kind, please rewind. I don't believe that was adhered to here. All right, we're getting down to the final couple things in my pile here. First, we got something from Jeff in Inglewood, California. Well, you know what they say, Inglewood, Inglewood, always up to no good. Here we go. <laughs> ah, here we go. <gasps> Cane! It's a cane, little bear! And, oh no! What have you done? What have you sent me? You sent me the rock talking soap! Oh, he and Stone Cold are gonna be best friends now! Of course, the ultimate test is seeing if it actually works, so here goes nothing. No? 
Nothing, damn it. Ooh, an unopened pack of SmackDown trading cards, some original stuff, and then finally, a bag of air. So there is a postcard, by the way, an Undertaker postcard. Dear Brian, me and my brother are huge fans, hoping you will like what we got you, mainly hoping to complete the set. P.S. We need more WEW. I don't need more WEW, but you better believe I'm gonna cover it someday. Dear Z-Man, here are some goodies to brighten your day. Included are a one-of-a-kind action figure, a pack of trading cards from a brand new movie, a delicious meal, and a mini poster from my world-famous wrestling group, a Duke World Order sticker. There is, uh, it looks like Patrick Duffy's head on it, and it comes with a little rocket launcher. Oh, there it goes. Some little Slim Jims. Oh my goodness, some retro stuff here. An original Batman movie trading card and bubblegum set, and some snuff. Well folks, you all have been so generous this month. What a cool bounty of things I got. And a very eclectic uh, collection of things to be sure. For those of you who have like complete like return addresses and the shipping labels, I will be sending you a little thank you gift in the mail in the next couple of weeks. If you want to have something sent here and you want me to open it on camera, go send it to my mailing address, Brian Zane at 316 California Avenue, number 53, Reno, Nevada, 89509. And folks, I'm just so appreciative of the generosity of my fans. Thank you all so much. We'll do this again sometime in the near future. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.